That's what I'm saying, though. If you just wash no, everything out cold, you can put it all works. together. Not- then you know well, in case they may ask Whoa. for a... Oh! Who are you? Mr. and Mrs. Kalmus, hello. Uh, I do believe you know my client, Mr. Kalmus. Yeah, we know who he is. He's our two-year-old. Who are you? I am Mr. Kalmus's lawyer. Please, have a seat. We're here today to litigate the terms of my client's living situation. Situation? He's our son. We clothe and feed him. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? That's, that's perfect. Let's start there, okay? My client here would like no less than four pouches a day. And none of them can be prunes. Wait, what? He would also like his screen time to be extended to a full hour of cocoa melon each day. No, cocoa melon is hyperstimulating and can cause addictions. Yep, she read that on the internet. Objection! That is an unliquidated statement. Please strike that from the record. Who's he talking to? My client would also only like his diaper changed twice a day. What? Then he'll just be sitting in it. That's gross. My client is actually fine with that. And if you could also purchase a wipe warmer. Um, wipe warmer? The cold wipes unfortunately startle him. Who has one of those? Excuse me, one moment please. Here. Here, one for this hand. Yeah, let's move on. No. Here is a list of things that my client would no longer like to see on the premises. Number one, the crib, the car seat, all bibs, all socks. What was that last one again? Really? The cat. Oh, well, I mean, that's fine. That's our cat. Your cat assaulted my client. Okay, you're lucky we're not pressing charges. Yeah, he hit him with a toy truck. Listen, the burden of proof lies on the cat. Hey, let's go back to this crib thing. If we get rid of his crib, where's he gonna sleep? My client would actually like to co-sleep indefinitely. Ah! Yeah, yeah, he feels like he can sleep better when he's kicking someone in the ribs. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Taylor. Co-sleeping is not that bad. Also, he would like to start breastfeeding again. Wait, what? Uh, no, excuse me, we weaned like a year ago. Yes, I understand that, but you did in fact have another baby and he's seen him enjoying it and he wants back in. Uh, that's not even possible. I don't have the supply to feed both of them. Let me, in fact, refer you to Exhibit B. Mr. Kemmes, please tell me what you see in this photo. Um, this is a picture of our deep freeze. What is in there? Elk meat. And? Uh, breast milk. Daddy. Yeah, a lot of it, isn't there? There's a lot in there, and we need it. So what, he just wants my frozen breast milk? No, actually, my client would like to nurse, okay? He'd like you to feed the frozen stuff, to the new baby. All right, I, I've heard enough. I don't know who you are or how my toddler is paying you, but I am done listening to this. If found guilty, you are responsible for all legal fees in this case. And what you're telling me is you're still not willing to meet these demands? No, no, this is ridiculous. No. No. Yeah, they said no. We're gonna crush them. Listen, we didn't want to use this tactic, but you backed us into a corner, you leave us with no other option. Ah! What are you doing? I'm throwing a tantrum on behalf of my client. Why? Ah! All right, enough, enough, just stop. We have a counter offer. We do? Wait, we do? Okay. Well. your client is willing to drop all of his other demands, we are willing to offer him this dum-dum. Let me have a moment to discuss with my client. What do you think about that? Do you want a dum-dum? Do you want to take it, dum-dum? Dum-dum. That's it. Dum-dum. Okay. Dum-dum. We will accept the offer. Oh, good. <sighs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, was that worth it? Oh yeah, get in there. You remember, I just, for the record, I do get my percentage of that, but get in there, yeah. Your client, I go, I go, here, here, do you have this? No. <laughs> All right. Let's get it before he starts talking again. All right, if your client is willing to drop all of 